Hey folks, Engineer 775 here today with Frank Ferre from Carolina Drones. Check How you out doing his channel. Everyone? Yeah, um, Frank Frank is really helping me out today. He was close to our job site today and he's got some awesome drones and I know he can fly. So uh, I was going to have him just kind of walk through, tell you about his drones, tell you about his business and what he's going to do for us today. So Frank, just do what you normally do, hey, put them on the spot. All right, happy Friday, everyone. I'm actually going to be flying. I have three drones with me today. I've got the Inspire 2, the Phantom 4 Pro, and the Mavic. Um, we've got a pretty tight area where we're going to be flying here. Yes, we do. I'm just going to actually uh, pick up my Inspire 2, assemble everything, uh, and take it out of the case. I'm going to probably mount on my 45 millimeter lens. Um, that way, I don't get so close to all these trees flying around. Um, the last thing you want to do is get a $5,000 item hitting the ground or in the water over here. But I'm um, looking forward to it. It's a beautiful, clear day. Yes. Couldn't ask for a better day. There's very minimum wind, maybe about five to seven knots, if that. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I got plenty of batteries uh, for the Phantom 4, the Inspire 2, and plenty of Mavic. And maybe I'd teach Scott how to fly some of these drones. Yeah, I want one so bad. He doesn't bad. have to call me so often. So uh, <laughs> looking forward to that. Uh, and I'm extremely impressed with the setup he did over here with these solar panels. Um, and the water, um, I mean, there's zero electricity out here. Exactly. So if I run out of batteries myself, I might plug in my batteries onto that solar panel. Charge his drones. And maybe we actually can come up with something with your panels to charge batteries. Maybe we can work on something that, um, hey, so you never we, know. We, we definitely want to talk some collaboration here. Absolutely. There's always, there's always pilots out there that go into sceneries like this that absolutely don't have the power to run, to, char to charge the batteries. And, you know, they might have their pickup truck, but they don't want to keep their pickup truck on all the time. Uh, so something that's portable and solar powered to just charge their batteries while they're constantly running. Because they're usually filming during nice weather. Correct. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, I'm going to actually just take the Inspire 2. I'm taking the prop right. off out of here. Um, this is an Inspire 2. Yep, Inspire 2, brand new. Uh, I have get close to 100 flights on it though. Stuck in this nice little beautiful uh, HPRC case. Uh, yeah, those are nice. Yeah, I, yeah I got, these those cases are, are phenomenal. So um, that case was made for the drone, obviously. Absolutely. Let's it's, take a look at this. Yeah, it's so I believe it's water jet cut. Um, it's made in Italy, um, so it's not made in the USA. But uh, look at that carbon control. fiber, beautiful. Yeah, that the carbon fiber is impressive. Uh, this drone actually here, Scott, is actually two batteries that run this unit, um, and I have six batteries with me. Um, this is where the pudding is at. Um, the gimbal. The gimbal with the. Uh, Micro Four Thirds camera. What I'm going to do is actually the the DJI 15 millimeter lens. So I'm actually going to snap this off, and I'm going to put my nice 45 45 millimeter lens here that I have, Olympus. Um, As we go through this, folks, I don't want you to miss out. I mean, Carolina Drones is with a a Z on the end, D R O N Z. Just try to be different. And he actually um, he has a store here in Anderson, South Carolina. Has a website. We'll put all that information in the description. Anything else? That's how they get a hold of you, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're actually uh, we got the 45 millimeter lens here. It's pretty simple to mount on here. It's all push buttons nowadays. Uh, no wrenches, no pliers, no screwdrivers. That's cool. Pretty so he heavy little camera, though, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. whole entire unit is pretty heavy um, with the batteries on it. Without the batteries, um, roughly anywhere between 10 and 12 pounds. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, we got our carbon fiber props. Just put this cover on my existing Save lens. the lens. Absolutely. The lenses are not cheap. Got the wrong cap there. Okay. Well, you're on film, so you're going to mess up. <laughs> exactly, always. <laughs> Let me close this case up. Put this on the ground here. If you need us to do anything. No, what I actually, um, I don't need to do anything. What okay. I do need to do is I need to get my SD card. Okay. Actually, I have it on my other drone. So okay. once I get the props on, um, I'll get my SD card. Prop All right, so the props just snap on. Just a quick release. So no, no tools necessary. Not at all. Absolutely not at all. So, uh, oh, that's slick. gotta get my iPad. 
and your SD card. All right. SD card, so I'm just gonna set we'll let that you up get there. set back, set up, and we'll just uh, come back. Yep. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We've we're flying. Here's his controls. Got an iPad. He's already loaded the SD card in the drone. Yep. Loaded the SD card. I just put on my iPad. This is the brand new iPad that just came out about a month ago or so. It's excellent size. It's a 9.7 inch screen. Um, definitely need to put in my USB connection here. And you know, fire up. Always fire up your radio. Um, no matter which drone or brand that you're using, your radio always needs to fire up first and always needs to fire down last so you so make your turning connection it on first turning it off last so you okay. can have connection always because the last thing you want to do is, is lose that lose connection and the drone thinks that it's returning home and if it's on the ground it'll actually take off and get up to the air and come back down okay so i guess we're looking for a clear spot take off Just put it on top of that solar panel ah. I like to do one last just check, just to make sure my props are actually on correctly. Camera's doing its thing. Yeah. Um, yep, camera is going to be balancing out there. 45 millimeter lens, so you're going to go back to my controller here. Oh, this is fun. Basically, I'm turning on the DJI Go app. Go 4 app, actually, to be exact. Um, Go 4 app. Apps. There's two different apps now from DJI. Folks, you're getting an awesome education here today. I'm just trying to. I was trying to get some footage, but this is a, this is like drone school. So I'm just checking my. Wow! Look at that camera. Just checking my gimbal here. Just making sure everything is good. So is that what is that 4K? Is that 4K? Okay. Absolutely. So darken it up, loosen it up. I'm actually sh I always shoot on raw, so I can edit and do any editing or fixing in post. Um, some people prefer not to even touch it. This camera takes such great quality pictures that you really don't have to do any posting, um, especially a beautiful day like this. Um, it's just it incredible. Be... Yeah, you can't you can't ask for a better day. <clears throat> on this drone here, we have uh, two cameras on it. So we have a front, what we call FPV camera, okay. for the pilot. So we can actually pair two radios with this unit. Pair two radios with this unit, so one can be the camera operator and one can actually be the pilot by itself. So that's why we have two different cameras. Then we also have actual uh, satellite, Google satellite view of this area. Um, and I can actually switch it so, how I want, but uh, we're actually ready to go. <clears throat> All my uh, my battery has got 99% kay. on my battery. I got good GPS. Um, currently, I have 13 GPS satellites um, right there. 13? 13. Where does it say that? Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. I yeah. couldn't see it. So, I got 13. <clears throat> the drone, technically, it's a lot further than what it is. It says it's 7 feet, but it's... Yeah. It's like I'm looking 30. at about 30 feet away. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fire it up here and a little warm up. Just going to see. I'm going to take a look at what we got here. All right, she's gone. Let's look what he's got on the screen. Oh yeah, this is. Let me go down to your panels here. And I was going to do this on an AR parrot, not. <laughs> <laughs> screen's oh, really clear, yeah. folks. I don't know if my camera will get it, so... Coming in hot! We're... It's a weed eater. There's a weed eater. Got gimbal pitch up and down. Yep. Um, on my left dial. On my right dial. On this one here. I have uh, exposure, so I can actually darken up, change my ISO, uh, literally right on screen. I try to always shoot on 100 ISO so I can get as higher res as possible. 
and um, and just make sure it's not too bright. Um, has an automatic focus, so no matter where I'm actually shooting at, you can see it on screen. And right now I'm actually f flying and moving my gimbal at the same time. Okay. So I, it's like a pianist or a guitarist using all their fingers right. on the controller. Beavers are freaking out right now. Next, we're going to unbox a DJI Phantom 4 Pro, correct? Correct. All right, tell me about it, Frank. DJI Phantom 4 Pro, it's an amazing unit. It's really any drone that anybody can needs. You don't need to get all the fancy Inspire 2. Phantom 4 Pro has a one-inch sensor camera that is absolutely stunning, incredible video and stills. Um, it's 4K, um, and this comes in a nice beautiful case that we've uh, we've worked with a supplier to customize for us as you can see I can put up to six batteries or seven batteries one in a drone two spots I use one of the battery slots as my what I call my junk um, nothing but parts and SD cards and so forth so four batteries my props um, my iPad um, nice. slot which actually is awesome to protect your iPad when you travel um, quick question so do you can you use other Absolutely. Tablets and Android base, Nvidia Shields, all the different size iPads, um, up from up to the iPad Pro. Is there anything? How old do you stay away from? Or um, I try to stay to the iPad Twos. Okay. Um, Something comparable. Past, correct. Anything past that, the firmwares don't like to uh, work together properly. Okay. But anyway, so it comes with this nice um, gimbal support. I mean, there's tons of factory. Or, or third-party gimbal supports, but honestly, I really think that these so for traveling really around that really holds it. Correct. It keeps the camera from bouncing around. I have an actually Freewell. Uh, it's a brand that I work with um, out of China. Freewell ND filter. This one's an ND16. What? And it's the... for a brightness. It's kind of. Oh. Uh, it lowers my uh, my f stops basically my video stops. Um, so I'm gonna actually put my props on on this one. Um, we got black props in. Got nice little black props uh, that I actually got. These are actually the DJI um, black props. Okay. Doesn't come with units. Come unit comes with white props, uh, but this is just a signature series color. And I actually, I you like the contrast. I just like the contrast of them. Uh, so these are actually quick release. I mean, I mean, quick release props. You push down and twist. Um, there's a black ring with the black motor and the silver ring with the silver motor. Well, the motors look silver, but on the top it has little dots. To determine they're just counterclockwise and clockwise on the props um, all drones operate on an x-axis so these two motors spin at the same uh, um, same uh, direction and then these spin at the same direction so that's how it actually bounces, bounces up in the air um, so I have I'm checking my battery there I got my power on get my controller out controller is very similar to the Inspire 2 controller Nice to stay with the same company. Pretty much similar controls. You're not getting confused, right? Correct. And also um, the app, uh, the DJI Go app is a very, it's the same app. So all the functions, all the buttons, all the features are, are very similar uh, from the Phantom 4 Pro to the Inspire 2. Um, okay. So like I said earlier, you always want to turn on your radio. I like to turn on my iPad. And 
turn on my Go app. So what is it, the same exact app? Or you... Same exact app. Nice. So I'm gonna actually put the, uh, the drone away on this beautiful pad that we found. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not part of Carolina Drones. We found that in the woods, folks. Yeah, we actually did. Uh, I usually come, I have an actual Carolina Drones pad that's around a half inch thick rubber um, that I usually travel with me, but I left it at the shop. We found an old campaign sign. <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a Trump or a Hillary. No, you know? it's like a Tucker. I don't Tucker, know who yeah. Tucker is. Tucker for South Carolina Senate, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so what I'm waiting now is basically I'm waiting for the IMUs to warm up, the motors to warm up, IMU. GPS. What's an IMU? What's um, an IMU? Did you say IMU? IMU is actually what operates the motors. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm waiting for the GPS to come up. It's six satellites currently, 10. It'll actually say ready to fly at 12. There it goes. The home point is automatically spot. So we actually got a good home location here. Oops. And. We are ready to take off here. 100% battery. Same size controller, just about, isn't it? Identical, Identical controller. That's cool. Ready to launch. I think he's flown this thing a few times. Several hundred of times. <laughs> so it's still a 4K camera, right? Yes, sir. Still and 4K camera. And there she goes. All right, Frank, that is awesome. You've showed us two awesome drones today, both DGIs. Um, yep. Tell us how people can get in touch with you. Well, actually, you can visit us our site at carolinadronesdronz.com in Carolina, common spelling. If you uh, know what South Carolina, North Carolina is spelled, it's common spelling, Carolina Drones, D R O N Z. We're also, you can follow us on Instagram, Carolina Drones, Facebook, Carolina Drones. Um, we're here at the Anderson University uh, Rocky Rocky River Nature Rocky Conservancy. Rocky River Nature uh, Conservatory Park. Park. <laughs> <laughs> it works too. Rocky River Nature Nature Park. Cons close enough. <laughs> close enough. We're in the middle of nowhere. How right. does that sound? That's good. And There's that... tons of, tons of foliage here. I can tell you, and it's a pretty dangerous spot to fly. But as long as you're flying above the treetops, you're safe. Um, but thank you so much for the opportunity. I mean, we have a Mavic here. Um, it's a little tight here and it's getting a little warm and uh, I'm getting kind of thirsty and hungry. No, we're good. But uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Scott, for, uh, for allowing me to do this for you and I uh, look forward to speaking to you. Yeah, we'll be working together on a bunch of projects. Absolutely, Thanks a lot, sir. Frank. No, thank you. All right. Engineer 775 signing out.